everyone. Welcome today. Today with my teammates and I will introduce an event company called Taobao in China and introduce some success strategy which helps this company development. This presentation will divide into four parts. First, I will introduce the background of this company and then Bingo will introduce its successful mm. strategies. Later, Inja will introduce the basic model and make a conclusion of this presentation. Now, let's move into the first part, the background. Some people may be not similar, similar with these companies. This company was founded on May 10, 2003 in Zhejiang province. This company has three subsidiary companies named Taobao.com, Timor, and Alipay. Taobao.com was focused on the C2C marketing, and while the Timor was focused on the B2C marketing. According to the 2010 Taobao's annual report, it has 3,350 uh, million registrars, and in that year, Taobao received 63 billion US dollars from its annual sales. Okay, let's see some pie chart. First, we will see some the C2C marketing sales. As I have just mentioned before, Taobao.com was focused on the C2C market, but when it was first entered into the C2C market in 2003, each net was the dominant one. It has concentrated on, um, it has occupied 90%. But now, they have changed their positions. Taobao owns 90.5%, while each net was only the 0.6%. Now let's see another market, B2C market. In the big B2C market share, Taobao was still the dominant one in 2011, it has to represent 46.5%. Even though there are some very strong competitors such as Amazon, down down by 51.5. So why Taobao was so successful among these competitors and this industry? This due to its successful strategies. So let's welcome my teammate Speaker to introduce these successful strategies. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you my partner's excellent presentation. Uh, and my part will be about the strategy of Taobao. It will be separated in three sections. First is about the spray strategy, and the second is about the Alipay platform, and the last one is its web strategy. Okay, let's start the free strategy. And uh, what is the free strategy? It means it's uh, whatever the sellers or the buyers in this platform, it, they won't be charged while they are trading. And the reason they ad adopt this strategy is because of the competitive environment. As we all know that in 2003, the, the largest uh, e B2C or B2B company is about uh, the eBay in China. It, it has a, a great uh, control, control nearly the 90% uh, eBay market in China at that time. Therefore, the Taobao as a new company adopted this free strategy well in order to attract more more customers to you to use their website. And the result of this strategy is of course achieve uh, successful. It has reached uh, nearly 2.2 billion uh, users in 2004 and the trade volume has reached about nearly 90% uh, of the eBay uh, at, at the same time. And the next strategy is about the third-party third part payment service, which is called Alipay perform platform. And the pro process of, this, of using this, this platform is that the users can uh, transfer, transfer the money from the bank uh, before they trade. This process will keep, will keep the security of the of the transaction, and the result of this uh, of using this uh, platform uh, in reduce the re the transaction risk and and uh, and also attracting many many users of this website. 
And the third one is, and it's, it's, uh, is, it's about web strategy. And in this part, we will introduce it by two, two, two sections. First is the shop owners. And uh, Cobol has launched real sale rebate and free promotion to appeal, to appeal many uh, potential, potential shop owners, which is uh, the new market for for Taobao, and this mar this this target audience is uh, is also more profitable than individuals. And uh, the second section about web strategy is about the, its logistics enterprises. That means in the initial stage, it's a drawback of the Taobao, and uh, so they want to uh, institute a third-party logistic platform to integrate the logistic resources, which will be support the the, tr the transaction of the users, whatever the sales, sellers, or the buyers. And okay, let's move on. My next, uh, our next part uh, section with my partner. Uh, welcome. Thanks for my partner's presentation. Uh, it's time to me to introduce the business models of Taobao. The business models concept uh, uh, are diverse, but it mainly contains about how to create value and how to make profits. The business models of Taobao um, can be mainly divided into three sections. The first is advertising profit model. The third is uh, value-added services. And the third is commission and technology service charge. The first is advertising model. The registered users of Taobao reached uh, 350 million in 2010, and uh, its avenue turnover was about 63.2 billion US dollars. And the revenue from advertising covers about 80% of the whole income of Taobao. In 2010, this Taobao exceeded Google China as the second biggest network advertiser of China. The second part is value added services. Except the basic services of Taobao, it also provides some value-added services such as store optimization, account management, logistics support. But this part is not the important part in Taobao's income. The future primary profit growth profit pro point will come from the B2C business. The third one is the commission and technology service charge. In March 2008, Taobao launched their B2C set, Tmall.com, which marked that Taobao tried to change its profit model. It gets money from the commissions from every transaction and shopkeepers also have to pay certain money as a technology support fee for Taobao. And uh, compared with advertisement models and uh, the value added models, this business model are more stable. Okay, let's see the conclusion. As we said above, the core strategy of Taobao is free strategy, which based on its deep understanding of Chinese online shopping market. And the free strategy, RDP platform, and web strategy generally constructed, constructed the whole strategy of Taobao, which makes it special and uh, keeps the market leader position for Taobao. Um, compared with eBay, Taobao gives up the certain profits from personal shop on Taobao.com and mainly makes profit from big and medium enterprises on Tmall.com. It's so clever. Why? It's the free platform Taobao.com is used to attract, attract users and Tmall.com is used to make profits. So that's all. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Can you get that, yeah?